Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for wasting your time with me today. My name is Amanda, how are you? So today, I'm gonna to be doing a makeup challenge, which is the reason why I'm sitting here, bare face, kind of disheveled looking. Well, I put on some earrings, okay? So I'm, I'm classy like that, I'll put on some earrings. But I was tagged by Gina in a Bottle, which I think is such a cute name for her channel. <laughs> about two weeks ago to do the challenge that she made up called Roll the Dice Makeup Challenge. Now, what I understand it to be, if I get it wrong, Gina, I am so sorry because I did watch her video and I watched a few others, is that you roll the dice, so you get a dice, and as you do each one of your makeup sips, you roll the dice to see how many layers you're going to put on. So, if I roll, if I'm doing my foundation, I roll the dice and I roll a six, I have to do six layers of foundation and six different kinds of foundation. So, or different shades of foundation. Or if I'm doing my lipstick and roll two, I have to have two different, you know, lipsticks on. So, <laughs> it's, this, this could be something. Now, Gina looked all fabulous in her blue eye shadow. I, I've seen a couple other videos where people actually looked okay because they managed to, to get some decent numbers to work with. I, I don't know what this is gonna be for me. So if you, if you wanna watch this disaster unfold, please stand by. So I got my dice, stole it from the Monopoly game, which I don't think anybody's going to miss. We're no longer allowed to play Monopoly as host because, you know, well, as the cops like to call it, domestic disturbances. So I don't think anybody's going to miss this game. Anyway, all this uh, gets started here. And I'm going to start with foundation. Now, normally I do my eyeshadow look first and then my foundation because of follow. But for this, I'm going to do the foundation first and, and, and then the eye look because I, I doubt that this will be something that I'll be able to leave the house with. You never know. And I'll, I'm not putting on any primer. Just I'm not purposely skipping that step. It's just that I've just been moisturizing lately. I only own the one primer that I, I wear once in a while. So if you think I'm skipping a step, I'm not. I'm just, that's just not part of my routine anymore. So the first number I rolled was four. So I got to put on four foundations. So, oh, that's already quite a bit. This is a photo focus foundation from Wet n Wild, which is probably one of my favorite foundations from a drugstore. It works really nice. All those layers, four layers of foundation, they'll probably end up covering this. I don't know what's going on there. You think once you start getting old, right, that you don't get as much acne. No, no, no. I mean, last week, man, I, I was PMSing bad. I had the acne. I want to curb so much, I was going to stab somebody right in their face. Two Faced Born this way. That's number two. Number three is going to be the Urban Decay Naked. Now this is their original Naked. They have since changed the formula. I don't know why you need to know that. I just figure you should. I'm going to look like the Crip Keeper when this is done. <laughs> Number four is Marc Jacobs Shameless, which I am not. The next step is concealer. One. Okay. Okay. That, that's not bad. I, I can get away with that. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind, which that's a lie. Hasn't rewound anything. Won't rewind my age. Won't rewind the VCR. Nothing. I'm going to pat this over my eyeballs and use it to uh, prime my, my eyeballs. So, yeah, see, it, it didn't rewind nothing except for my dignity. The next step is powder, I guess, right? So, six. Oh no, this six layers of powder when you're 42 years old, this is, this is gonna be bad. First up is Laura Mercier powder. Then I'm gonna go in this, I'm gonna count this as two powders. This is kind of like a Franken powder. Um, I broke my Too Faced Peach Poreless Powder, right, the compact, it just went everywhere. And the same day, I, I broke um, my Hourglass 
powder and diffuse light. So I just put them together in this container and, and made a Franken powder and, and stuck it all and, and I stick it all over my face. So that that's three. Then I have my hourglass powder in dim light. That's the, the pinkish one. That's four. And then to top it all off, I don't have uh, six setting powders. I can only get five. So I'm just going to go in with my Gerlain meteorite powder. So I'm only going to be able to do five layers. I don't know if that's that's cheating. But I, I don't know. I, I guess. Oh, whatever. Okay. Can't really see my pimples too much anymore. That's for sure. So what's after the powder? Oh, contour. Contour. So roll the dice again. Come on, big money enemies. Four. I'm going to go in with my Fenty stick. Now, normally, I go this, the creamy product, right? But we're, we're doing this in obviously an unconventional order today, you know, or a style, I should say. Normally, I would just go in before the powder product, but, you know, anyway. This actually doesn't isn't too bad over over powder, so which I, which I like. So there there's one layer. This is a Fenty bronzer in, in the sun, but I like it because it's a nice cool tone. So I use it as a contour a lot. I don't bronze really. I only bronze once in a while in 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 the summer. I find that the contour adds enough color to me, right? So I like to pretend I got cheekbones and that I don't look like a basketball all the time. I mean, I had the fat surgery. I've lost weight. I've lost about 90 pounds. I have a few more bones in my face than I used to, but I, I, I still look like, you know, I, who am I kidding? I don't have cheekbones. I'm going to use a butter bronzer. This also is a very, is a light one. It's a very cool tone that I often use to contour. So, you know, I'm kind of cheating here because I don't have a lot of contour products. I used to have that creamy uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills cream palette, but it just, it was hard to work with and it went bad. And, oh, I, I think I went overboard with that. <laughs> Pay attention! This is why I don't put makeup on and talk. And then I guess maybe I'll contour a bit with my, my bronzer that I do use because I don't I don't know what else I'm gonna use, really. Um and I oh I did have the TARDIS Pro that had the highlighters and contours and that was old, I got rid of that. Maybe I'll just put this on with a big fluffy brush and hope for the best. I'm starting to look like some of those girls I see at the mall that have those orange faces and white bodies. Do my hairline here. Okay, so I bronzed and contoured ish at the same time. Uh, sue me here. <laughs> oh, my face is feeling, my face is feeling pretty, pretty thick, guys. Oh, so what's next? Blush. Blush. So, six. Six blushes, guys. Six blushes. I'm going to use this Patrick Star because there's two blushes in here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll just use one side and then I'll use the other side. It's pretty, pretty collab he did with Mac. There we go. There's two. <laughs> this Ofra blush. I'm not going to stop and look at all the names. This video is already going to be long enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for blush, I got another MAC blush in Blush Baby. I kind of look like some of the older women in my neighborhood. For real, guys. It's terrible. Right now, I could go out the door to Tim Hortons. I could go out the door to Walmart, to the grocery store. And I, I would just look like some of my neighbors. Hand to God, hand to God. You could you could ask Bruce, you watching this, right? You always watch this. Comment down below. Comment down below and and, and tell everybody that I could go out the door right now looking like this and and I, and I would fit right in. This is a buxom blush. Last but not least, I'm going to do cover X at, cover cover FX <laughs> and warm honey. 
Oh yeah. I even tried to go lay in it. Look at that. Perfect. I'm going to do my eyeshadow next and then I'm going to do my highlighter last. I, I dug out the blue blood because I figure if I'm going to look ridiculous, you might as well go all the way and have blue eyeshadow. Gina had the, the crazy blue eyeshadow and it was it was cute as hell on her. So she I like her channel. She's, 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 she's cute. It seems like she's somebody I could sit down and have a laugh with. So I'm going to roll and see how many blue eyeshadows I got for me. One. Oh, that's kind of disappointing, actually, but all right. <laughs> I'm going to go in with Ocean Ice. Let's let's do the shiny, shiny, right? Because you got to do the shiny, shiny. Anyway, but, oh, my goodness, this is... <laughs> I love this. Okay, what's the next step? Well, I, I smudged a bit. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> that just made it worse. Eyeliner, okay, come on. Six, six eyeliners. I'm gonna start with this Ciate one, this black pencil. It's a Marc Jacobs gel liner. <laughs> I got this Makeup Forever Extra L Aqua Eyeliner in green because, uh, yeah, I don't own all <laughs> that many black pencils, so we're going multicolored here, folks. So, what was that? One, two, three. I got Urban Decay. This is a nice bronzy one. I'm going to put this one under the eye here. bronzy eyeliner in the lash line and then I'm going to take this pink Urban Decay one and put it in the inner corner and, and tend off the eyeliner look I'm going to take my, my liquid liner and, and try it to give myself a, a wee bit of a wing here. <laughs> Look at the fallout. Am I ready for my close-up yet? So we are going to do eyebrows now. And I rolled a two. Thankfully, I don't have a lot of eyebrow products because I I was, you know, I have a ton of eyebrows, but you know, things get a little uneven as you, as you get older. You lose your eyebrow hair and, and it migrates downwards to your chin. So that's what you get to look forward to, you younger folks. So I'm just gonna try to fill it in a little bit here. Try to make them look even because my eyebrows, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, they're even. And then I, I go out and I, they're not even. So. They say your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters and not twins. Well, mine are sisters, but their their parents were first cousins. I filled them in a little bit, and, and I'm gonna go over them. I got like this little, 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 little tiny thing. I'm give me brow, and, and and ooh that that clumped. Oops, that's one thing with these mascara brow things, right? You, sometimes you got to be careful and, and and wipe off the 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 clumpy you know, eyebrow gel pre-comb there. So mascara! Six! Oh my, I'm gonna look like Tammy Faye Baker. <laughs> so I got some L'Oreal. This is like a voluminous mascara and it's green because why not? Ciate London. I don't know what this is called. It's a little Seate London sample with black. I like it. We got some Benefit. They're real mascara. Yeah, right. They're real. I'm going to go in with the pink YSL because why not? We got another green Mascara for NYX because, sure. This 
green with the pink might be pretty under other circumstances. And just to top off the ridiculousness, I'll, I'll put on some gold flakes because sure. I have on six different mascaras and my eyelashes still are pathetic. So there you go. Anyway, last but not least is the highlighter. What's the lighting situation going on? Because I turned on my lamp. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, I got a roll. for. Oh, no, it's not last but not least. I need lipstick on after this. Jeez. Six hot. Six hot. I'm just going to use the Brain Seat Freeze Palette from Jeffree Star. I just yanked this out because it has six different shades. So... Anyway, I'm just I'm gonna start from dark to to lightest. So I'm gonna use this nice gold Statue S. Do you know how like ridiculous I am? I'm like I can't see out of this mirror. I I can't use this mirror. This mirror is probably one of the worst mirrors that ever came in a palette. And then I realized that it still had a film on it. So then I'm gonna go in with with cocky the next the next one why am I starting from darkest to lightest I I don't know then gold breaker this one that's kind of like an orangey blue and then I might as well go in with freeze tag the blue one I'm gonna put that a little up here to, to highlight my eyebrow my eyebrows <laughs> And, oh, that kind of made of a mess. I should have made a, a new brush. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to have to clean that off. I'm going to get get a clean brush, Amanda. Like, seriously. Okay. Um, And then I'm going to take Frozen Fruit, that nice pink one. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Last but not least, cold shoulder, which is the white guy. And I'm just going to put him all over everybody. Now, I normally love going on the house looking like a disco ball, but usually I try to have it a little bit more controlled than what I do right now. So, yeah. <laughs> so, finally, last but not least, it is, is lipstick. I got a one, thankfully. Now what lipstick am I gonna put on to complete this look? In honor of today's multicolored unicorn look, I am going in with the Unicorn Tears lipstick from Too Faced. I'm feeling very 80s. <laughs> anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> i know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing video out there but i guess i had fun doing something silly and i thank you gina for tagging me please check her out down below and if you want to do this makeup challenge please do and make sure you, you tag her and, and and stuff and i'm going to go sandblast my my face uh dunk it in a bucket of water i don't know maybe i'll i'll send some kissy face selfies to to bruce to see what his reaction will be okay if you're still here if you actually watch this entire video i appreciate it please consider subscribing like rating um all that good stuff before you go and i will see you in the next one bye